James, what time is it? Uh, Tempest. Right before eight, mate. Shit. Moon rises at eight. Hmm. We can't be there. Because we're stuck in tension. Well, absurd, Pete. Now how about you shut the hell up? Well, I'm worried too. Yeah, but it's not helping when you're going on and on and on about about messed up. How can we let this happen? He used to be alone all the time at full moon before. He can manage one full moon without us. Can he? Can he? Have you already forgotten what it used to look like every month? No, of course, but, but I'm trying not to think of it because it won't help Mooney. Just wallowing in their own mistakes. <laughs> and neither will you biting our heads off, so just calm down, Sirius. Feels so stupid. <laughs> well, that's gonna be a new experience for you, huh? Five foot, lay off Wormtail. It's not his fault. No? Who was the one who stuck their head from under the cloak to look around the corner? Like an idiot! Well, you were the one who told me to check around the I corner. I told you to check around the corner because you are an animagus who turns into a rat. Basically, the only thing you're good for is sneaking around corners. Don't talk about Wormtail like that. Oh, no, he's talking about himself in third person. You can't even defend yourself unless you pretend that you're not part of the argument. Just because you're more dumb than human. At least I'm not spineless. Uh, enough, okay? Oh, well, hello, Mr. Headboy. Would you like to give me some more detention hours for telling the truth? In the meantime, Moon is out there bleeding to death, or I don't know, it's gonna be like out of. We're worried too. Of course we are. And this really sucks. Not just because we can be there, but because we can be there, we have a duty to be there. Yeah, James is right. Remus has dealt with this, like, forever. And, I mean, he's the most competent of us all. He'll be okay. Prongs, you have the cloak with you, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, I always bring the cloak. Then we'll just head out to the One Pig Willow right after detention. Yeah, of course, that's a given. Probably cleaning. Without magic. <laughs> yeah. Filch isn't the most creative one in the lot. How are you doing with the bondless, wordless magic, by the way? I mean, I can't really do it, but I thought but we will help you as soon as we've cheated ourselves out of our part. And then we'll head out to the world. See, Petfoot? You'll be reunited with your husband in no time. <sighs> ha ha. Just wait until we actually get married, and Mooney picks the two of you as his best men, and then you have to write speeches to say how good I am, how awesome I am for him, and yeah. But who'll be your best man then? Dumbledore. But he'll be my maid of honor. Oh, come off it. No, I'm being serious. Oh, fine. Then I'll just ask McGonagall to be my best maid of honor. Yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I bet Lily would love that. I bet there won't be a wedding if you tell her that. It'll be a funeral instead. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You both not invited. To the wedding or the funeral? Both. <laughs>